So how do you start a travel YouTube channel from zero? In this video, I interview Jen from INT Affair and she shares how her and her co-host took a risk, quit their jobs and stepped out to start a growing channel. And she's gonna be sharing her five biggest tips coming up. This video is brought to you by LearnVideo.Live, a free one-hour online training on how to grow a highly influential and profitable YouTube channel this year. To get free access, just go to LearnVideo.Live. Hey, what's up? Sean Cannell here with Video Influencers, helping you build your influence, income, and impact with online video. And I'm super pumped to be hanging out with Jen from INT Affair, a super cool travel channel on YouTube that's been growing over the past few years, past 60,000 subscribers. And we're here at Vid Summit. Jen, how's it going? It's going really well. Happy to be here. Pumped to have you on the channel to kind of share with those that want to grow travel channels and grow their YouTube channel faster when it comes to all the stuff you're doing. But first of all, for those that are just meeting you, what's kind of been your journey to get into what you're doing now? So I never thought that I would be on YouTube and here I find myself with 60,000 people that follow myself and my co-host Raphael on our travel channel. But long story short, how we got into it is that we met as co-workers. We both come from a travel background. We ended up on a reality TV show and then we decided to quit our jobs and travel the world like so many other people have. We quit. We quit. So we bought some cameras, we self-taught ourselves everything, and it was a little bumpy at the beginning, but now we feel very good about it. Man, that's amazing, and things have been growing, and you guys have a lot of cool stuff happening on your channel. And you got five tips for us here. And so the first one is be authentic and be different, and for you that means like no BS, so break that down. Yeah, so we really try to focus on no BS travel. And what that means is when you come to our channel, we're going to tell you the answers that you're looking for. So we try to put ourselves in your shoes. If it's your first time to Thailand, your first time to Bali, what is everything you could possibly need to know? And yeah, we do have cinematic shots, but our main goal is to help you and help a fellow traveler get to where they're going and to understand a country culturally, through the food, transportation, all of that. I love that. And, you know, sometimes, you, you know, travel channels kind of have this thing of it's super polished and these amazing drone shots and it can look one way, but you guys have kind of taken a different approach. We definitely have those drone shots and we do love showcasing a destination like that. But our main, main focus is always the actual content, what we're talking about and what we're relaying in our video. And so we try to make it really not about us, and about the viewer. I love it. And so tip number two then is to stand out and grow, you wanna find a gap. What do you mean by that? So by finding a gap, so regardless of what type of channel you wanna start, you want to definitely do your homework and your research and see what other people are doing. There's gonna be a lot of channels that are the same and I personally think that it's really important to find you know, what's your niche, what is it that you can do that's different and authentic. Um, which kind of ties back into the number one, but you need to be able to stand out and just be different. So a lot of that ties into being yourself, but if you can find an area, whether it's, you know, you break down costs or you really explain something in detail, that could be, be your niche. Yeah, I love that. And uh, tip number three is be relentless and disciplined. And this kind of goes into, you know, a lot of those watch, you might be like overwhelmed with well, how do I get the camera stuff and how do I learn how to use the camera stuff and how do I learn how to do thumbnails and titles? What was that process for you? It's a big learning curve. So if you go over to INT Affairs channel and you go to some of our first videos, they're a little rough. <laughs> and I think it's important. It's, it's, everyone starts somewhere. And, you know, Raphael and I taught ourselves how to edit, how to use cameras, how to do everything. And if you want it bad enough, you'll stick to it and you'll keep trying and your editing will get better and your camera presence will get better. It's just you have to want it and you have to stick to it. Tip number four is make it about the viewer. And we actually had Gary Vee on our channel recently and he said, Because 90% of people are putting out selfish content. Like it's all about them and they want you to watch what they're doing, what they want to do. So this tip of like really becoming viewer centric is massive if you want to get more views, get more subscribers. And so where do you guys come in that approach? So we always try to make it about the viewer. Um, I kind of touched on it in the beginning. 
we treat every travel video as if it's someone who maybe has never been on a plane. They've maybe they've never left their house. We try to break it down as simple as possible for the experienced traveler and the beginner traveler. I don't really believe in dumb questions, so we try to cover as much as we can um, and not make it about us. It should always be about the people who are watching your content. Fire advice and hey, if you're getting value out of this video, can you smash the like button? And tell us in the comment section below, how many videos have you uploaded on YouTube so far and what is your niche? Are you doing some travel stuff? Where have you been in the world? And maybe what questions do you have about growing your channel faster? Let us definitely know in the comment section, which brings us to tip number five, and that is budget. Not only how is it you guys are kind of monetizing, but how are you even affording travel? Because it can seem overwhelming to be like, well, travel's too expensive. This is inaccessible for me. Right. And there's no lie that travel is a luxury activity. A lot of people are not blessed to be able to explore the world. But a huge misconception is that travel is too expensive for you. You know, you can go and see places and make it what you want it to be, but maybe you have to make sacrifices. So it's learning to say no to hanging out with friends at home and knowing that that money is going to go towards a trip. And also, you know, maybe you don't stay in a five-star resort. You know, you stay in the budget hotel. You stay in a hostel. And, you know, you make sacrifices along the way just to experience cultures and destinations. And that is my biggest advice to making a travel channel possible is making sacrifices to get to that final destination. Super, super powerful. And uh, if people want to check out more of what you're doing, where can they find you on maybe uh, social media as well as your YouTube channel? And we'll link it up on the YouTube card. Yeah, so our YouTube channel, it's uh, I'm the co-host and the better half of INT Affair. Just kidding. So it's myself and Raphael, and we are at INT Affair. It's a play on international affair. We're on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. Super powerful, and I also just want to acknowledge you. It's super inspiring. We're here talking about the Travel Channel, but connecting at this event, Vid Summit, uh, I also learned that you just got first place in the San Diego Marathon. So you're like this rock star runner. Congratulations and uh, all of your hard work. And thank you for you know showing that it's possible to follow your dreams, to step out there, to do creative things. Can you just give one final word of encouragement to our community? Obviously, you're an entrepreneur, a doer, someone that has punched fear in the face, punched perfectionism in the face and press record. Just some final words to encourage those at different stages of their journey to keep going. Sure. So this actually crosses over in all aspects of my life, running, traveling, friends, family, relationships. So if you really want something and you want to go for it, you need to have tunnel vision and stick to it. And really, when it all boils down to it, the only person that you really need believing in yourself is you and forget all the other external voices and just keep trucking along. You're gonna fall down, but keep moving forward and you'll, you'll get there. Jen, thank you so much and we will see you in the next video. Peace.